Hello and welcome to Quick Maths Revision where today we'll be learning how to import tables into LaTeX. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using the backslash begin tabular command today and that is what's going to create our table itself. However, here's a tip that if you're wanting to caption your table or reference it later, so put a label on it, then I'd highly recommend you use the begin table command. So as I'm using overleaf, if I hit enter, it'll fill in everything else that it thinks I want. So this centering is what centers the table. Then this begin tabular command is what creates our table itself. Then it's got a caption and then a label. And then that's the end of the command there. So what we'll do is we'll start off with in this backslash begin table, we're going to put H exclamation mark, which tells LaTeX that we want to put our table here, right where we're putting it in this code, rather than it trying to format it the way it thinks you want it to have. So, right, we'll now start off on this begin tabular part of this table. So, similar to the array command, which was used in the matrices and vectors video, um, what we can do is we can use these curly brackets here to represent how many columns we want. So, what we can do is, if we wanted to put a line in, so a vertical line, that's what this this means here. So, at the moment, we've now got two columns with a vertical line on the left, a vertical line in the middle, and then a vertical line on the right. So, if we wanted another column, it's as simple as just adding in another C. And it doesn't have to be a C, so what I'll do is I'll put all the items into the table, and then I'll go over what these Cs can be instead. Basically it's to do with the positioning of the terms within the table itself. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start creating this table. So the way it would work is we can't have a title so the first row of our table itself will be the title. So what we'll do is for my um, titles of each column I like to have it in bold so you do backslash text bf for bold font and if we just call that one column 1. Then, similar to the array command, this ampersand here signifies a separation in two terms. So we're going to do backslash text bf again, and then column 2. And then, as I've got three columns, we'll need to put another ampersand, and then backslash text bf, and then column 3. Brilliant. And then like with the array command again, with these two, this double backslash here, that signifies to go down onto the next row. So in this first row, I'm just going to put nice and simple one and two and three. So that's that next row, and then we can put A and B and C, and then double backslash again, and then we can put some Greek letters in if we wanted to. So backslash alpha and we want it to be read as a, a math command so we put it in the math mode with the dollar signs so then you'll do dollar signs backslash beta and then if you wanted to you could put dot 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 as your final one there so what we can do is let's just compile that see what we get printed over here on the right so as you can see we've now got column one column two column three and then all of our entries from in here and then this dot dot dot's just turned into a dot dot dot. But what you'll notice is that there's no horizontal lines. So LaTeX doesn't put them in automatically. You have to input them yourself. So if we wanted to put a horizontal line above this column, you can see that this text is where the columns start. So before that, we'll have to put a backslash H line, which means horizontal line. And then we'll have to put one after every row that we want to put one in. So we'll want to put one after the columns, for example. And then if you didn't want to put anything in for in between these ones, you wouldn't have to. And then you'd have to, it's a bit awkward, but you'd have to put a double backslash there and then backslash H line as your final command within this table. And what you'll see is we've now got horizontal lines been put in. So this H line, is quite good. Um, if you put H line backslash H line, what you'll notice is that you can get this 
double horizontal line when it loads. There you go, just like that. So that separates your table into basically two small ones. So that's quite useful. So that's quite good. I'll now go and talk about what these C's represent in this table. So the C is for centered. So this is um, formatted so that my elements are now in the center. So we can put right, center, left, for example. So those are the three main types you'll be using. So you'll notice that these ones are now been put on the right, these are in the center, and these ones have now been formatted so they're on the left. And there's one other one that you can do. So instead of putting it in the right, center, or left, you can tell LaTeX how long you want this to be. So that would be with a, you do P, and then you'll do curly brackets, and then you can put in a a metric measurement, so like three millimeters there. So if I just hit enter now, then it's going to go very small, which isn't what we want. So you could change that to say three centimeters, which would make it significantly longer. There we go. So then if I, instead of this dot, dot, dot here, I write a longer passage of text that would otherwise be too long. If I compile that, you'll see that it's been formatted so that it fits within this three centimeter long um, column here. So if you just get rid of that, put it back to dot 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 because that looked nicer. And we'll put that back into the center. Like so. And then we'll go back to how it was. There we go. And then, as you can see, at the moment, this table one's been captioned caption, which is rather unimaginative. So let's just put um, this table consists of three columns, for example. You could label it whatever it is you put in your table here. And as you can see, that's now been printed underneath. And then this backslash label um, is used for referencing. So if you're writing something later in your document and you wanted to reference the table, then what you do is you do backslash reference, that's ref, and then you put in it, so that's cross-referencing. And then as you can see, you probably want to change this rather than tab my label. But um, at the moment, it's already filled that in for me, so I could click that, and then that would give me a link back to this table here. So that would be within some text. Um, and hopefully, with all of that, that should be enough information on how to create some tables within LaTeX.